welcome to another vlog. This vlog is a special vlog because I am on a girl's trip in DC, y'all. Much needed. If I look crazy, it's because I've been walking for it. I don't even know how long, but too long trying to find this place. Okay, y'all know how DC streets is, but anyway, we're here. We arrived, and the place is so cute. I already put my stuff down, but. This is the room that me and my sister is staying in. This is where you come in. Huh? Okay, hold on one second. This is the bed. They have a nice big old closet, which we don't need. And then this is the bathroom, double sinks, shower. Y'all, I don't have that much long. I don't have long to get ready because we are going to go eat at this place called Oyster Bar. So I have to do my hair and my makeup and get ready. But we are about to take shots. We started early, y'all. So come on. Let's take a shot. All right. Cheers. 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 Have a fucking weekend. I was gonna go to this place called Astoria's Kitchen, but the menu sucked. And like the only thing that I would have gotten off of the menu would have been lamb chops, and the lamb chops was fifty six dollars. Excuse me, I could buy me a whole pack for twenty dollars. Uh -uh. So.
Hi, you guys. We are on our way to brunch at Brooklyn at Brooklyn on you. Brooklyn on you. We're just trying to get there right now. This traffic is crazy. But this is the day we all wore our neons for brunch. for on my face we are back from brunch we literally got here got out the uber on the way to the room my sister friend <coughs> dropped her my face look horrible and it's light and i don't understand why it looks very spotty we got here and my sister friend dropped her car she dropped her car on the ground she realized that her wallet wasn't in her little wristlet so then we were like okay maybe we left it where we was at but we left it in the uber we just got out of so we called him and he pretty he was a foreigner but he pretty much act like he didn't want to like come back he said he was with a passenger and so the passenger he was with actually said that she would take the wallet and i guess she was going to work or whatever at some restaurant so she was just saying if we go back to the restaurant <clears throat> then we'll you know she'll give us the wallet she seemed like she was pretty nice she gave us the address and everything so they went back there you know what i'm about to do though y'all because i have not been drinking no water and all of these places like y'all like okay i'm not really a cheap person like you know if i gotta pay some i'm gonna just pay it but when we went to the daggone restaurant so they were saying that the filtered water was nasty and I don't play like when it comes to my, I don't even want to taste it if it's nasty like no. And um, so I asked if they had bottled water, they did, but it was $8. What? So I said, oh no honey, uh uh. So I haven't really been drinking no water. So I don't drink faucet water. So I'm about to um, boil me some water. Cause I need something. <laughs> Oh, they have a kettle too. I think I'm about to boil me some water, y'all. They have a kettle. Cause I can't do this. Like, I'm used to drinking water. I'm used to drinking water daily. So I'm gonna just fill this up, boil it. I hope they got ice. Lord, I need to see if they got some ice before I do all this. I'm gonna boil that water. It hopes it contaminate, un contaminates it or whatever. I don't know, honey. <laughs> but um, I'm about to sit here and watch Queen Charlotte and just relax. I might fix me a drink because we got so much. Look at all these drinks, y'all. Where are we? Are we going to be able to finish that? Oh, shoot. My sister called. Hello? Hello? Oh, I never got her name. Let me ask her. Hold on. Y'all here now? I'm finding out her name now. I forgot it. Yeah, we're there. Ka Katrina? 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 The one with sunglasses. Oh, she, oh, she must be eating here. Oh, and she said she got sunglasses? Katrina? Yes, okay. <laughs> Thank you. You are so sweet. We really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Have a great day. Yeah, crazy. Oh, I'm waiting to turn around. You know, I'm waiting to turn around. Oh, 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 I'm waiting to turn around. O
the reason why I drink more, I feel a little bit better. But if I'm not drinking, that's what happens. I yeah. still feel. Well, like maybe that. we should take a shot before that's we leave. Folks is no. Wake up in no. Not me. Hi. Y'all, we about to go to this place called Thoreau Social. We all took a nap. We all slept over our nap. Is that it? Oh. We all slept over our nap. I got one thing hanging out in the back. But we about to go to Thoreau Social and then later on, we are actually gonna go to um, <clears throat> the dinner. And then we're going to a 90s party. Oh, I could have just got on this side, huh? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she was coming on this side. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Charlie. Just stop in the middle. <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? Yep. Oh, we end up coming to this. We end up coming to M Street because the place in Throw Social, it was like a LGBT event or something like that. You know, it's not our vibes. But yeah, so we are about to get something to eat and get some treats if you know what I mean. <laughs> to the garage. But they said it wasn't that long. It wasn't. It, it was wasn't like five minutes. Right. I said it wasn't that long at all. So you I think it's your turn to call an Uber. Uh-huh. I need to use this damn Uber money anyway. Okay. Put it in Rose Bar. Yeah. I was about to bring my keys. I don't need them. Please don't bring your keys. It's a habit now. My I was telling Dan, I said the dudes was complimenting me the first night. I said, usually, it do look so pretty. I want to try it. looks so natural. I almost kind of want to try it for Jamaica. They want me to take a picture of my ID, Jesus, boy. Ooh, you just got that ass out. <laughs> that ass out. Happy yeah. Sunday, y'all. We are going to Rose Bar for Let's a day party see. today. I know I've been neglecting y'all on the vlog. But I could not pick up the camera yesterday. <laughs> so that's the vibe tonight. And then we're going to dinner. What's the oh at Pink Tacos. Pink Tacos tonight. Yeah, I'm, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mad snack. that we could not go to Beat the Bomb. But snack. Matter of fact. We'll go to Beat the Bomb eventually. You be sitting 50 minutes and I never get to <laughs> Hey. And she be recording everything. Why she not on snack? So our first Uber driver left us talking about some she was waiting for too long when she literally was waiting for how long? Fuck that bitch. As I, as I <laughs> hooked her down, as I ran so fast to catch her ass. <laughs> she ran to the car and then tried to pull on the lot. The girl was like, <laughs> but we got another one coming, okay? <laughs> Talk about ha 
hungry. I ain't eat all day but been drinking. All day. I'm hungry. Hungry and tipsy. Look, they find out at the end. They find out at the end and they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Bottle by myself. Girl, who you drink that whole bottle? Who drinks tequila? I'm gonna tell y'all something. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. I'm a horrible pour. Shit, we about to drink that. How much is in that? I don't know. We did. But it's three of y'all. Right. You could drink that whole thing. Like, Alright, one more shot for the road. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna swallow this food. It ain't gonna get no chews. <laughs> All right, y'all. We about to go to dinner. <gasps> I'm vlogging off my phone, so it look raggedy, but yeah. Y'all, we about to head out to dinner. Here's my outfit. You can't see my shoes. Hold on. Got my shoes. Something comfy. All right, all right. now as y'all can see it's definitely been quite some time later let me tell y'all these past ever since i got back from the trip ever since the trip been over it's just been so much going on so let me catch y'all up i need somewhere to put my phone though i know i look a mess y'all but let me just tell y'all what happened at the end of the trip so right now it's june 14th so it's about three weeks later so, but it's been so much going on since that trip ended, y'all. So, let me tell y'all. So, after the last clip that y'all saw us at Pink Taco, right? When we got back, when we left Pink Taco, of course, we called an Uber. And my sister friend is the one that called the Uber this time. So, that night, we were actually supposed to go... Some, we were supposed to be going somewhere that night, but we decided not to because we were just like, listen... We tired, and that's another thing, y'all. It's like, even when I was editing the vlog, I was like, man, all we really did was eat and, like, go out and party. But I think it's just me getting older. Like, that be enough for me right there. I would have loved to go to the place. I'm wiping my face, y'all, because I just oiled my scalp. But I would have loved to go to the Beat the Bomb place, but we didn't go to there because... Um, you know, it was Memorial Day weekend and they were all booked up. So it was saying online that you definitely need to book that in advance. So if you are interested in going there, it's like a place where, uh, you, you know, a group goes and y'all have these challenges that y'all try to beat. If you beat the challenge, then if you don't beat the challenge, then they like beam you with paint, but they give you like a covering and the hair covering and stuff. So I do want to go there one day and then. Uh, we were supposed to go to the 90s R&B party, but even that night, it's like you'll be having so many plans that you want to do within a short amount of time. But it's like, especially when you're going just for a weekend trip, that time go by so quick. 
And it's like, you know what I'm saying? We not used to going hard. Well, I'm not. That's how I be when I go out of town, y'all. Like, I be like, oh my goodness, I can't wait to get a break. And then I get out of town and I be tired. But it's because I'm not used to running like that. You know what I'm saying? Constantly. But nonetheless, I enjoy myself so much because I just needed that break away from the kids. Needed that break away from reality. Just needed that break in general. I really enjoyed just eating and vibing and drinking and just being on my own time. So I'm sorry for the vlog being a little short with y'all. But, you know what I'm saying, I tried to vlog as much as I could. But it's like, you know how it is when you're out of town. But I do want to get better with vlogging when I'm out of town because I'm like... It be so much that I want to show y'all, but it's like when you're trying to be in the moment and vlog at the same time, then you with other people that's not vloggers, so you don't want to like be take. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all should get what I'm saying. Anyway, let me tell you. Let me go back to telling y'all what happened. So the next morning when we left, which was Monday morning, I was like, man, where my purse at? Cause I was like, I packed up everything and I didn't see my purse. In that moment, I realized that I left my dick on purse in the Uber's car when we left Pink Taco. So being that my sister friend is the one that requested the trip, I was she the one that had to like try to get in contact with the driver because it was under her account. Then she told me that she, a number was trying to call her that same night that we left Pink Taco five times and she didn't answer because she didn't know the number and then she blocked the person. She did message him and say, who you know, who is this? But he didn't reply. But I'm thinking it's because, you know, like when you use like Uber and DoorDash, they mask their the person's real number. So if you were to try to like text the number that they're calling from, sometimes it won't go through. It just depends because it's not really their actual number. It's like just a fake number that DoorDash is using to conceal the privacy of the driver and conceal the privacy of the rider and stuff. And not only that, when they complete a trip, the driver can no longer see where they dropped you off at. So he was trying to call her five times and then she blocked him. So he was never able to get in contact with us. So the next morning when I realized that my purse was gone, I tried to get in contact with Uber and they told me that they only could send the driver a message. They can't call him. Like a certain amount of time had to pass by before they call him. Mind y'all, this was my purse that had my wallet in it. It had my SD card with footage on it. It had cash in it. It had all of my ID. Every, everything was in that purse. And the I left it because I'm so used to wearing it as a crossbody because I know me. I'm so quick to put something down and forget that I put it down. So I always wear it as a crossbody. So I'm like, I know my purse is right beside me. However, this particular day, you know, we was kind of a little bit dressed up so i decided to carry it like a top handle worst idea ever because when we got into uber i put it down and forgot to pick it up anyway so uber was not able to get in contact with the driver until 24 hours had passed so once the 24 hours had passed at that point i already was stressed out crying and everything because mind y'all i realized that i left my purse when we were in dc so i'm like man i don't want to leave dc and then how am I going to get back in contact with my purse if I do reach the driver? So I didn't want to leave. So me and my sister probably hung around D.C. just trying to kill time. Maybe an hour. We still weren't able to get in contact with the driver. So we just end up leaving. And I was just going to catch, you know, say it's just a loss. I would cry, y'all. I'm crying my heart out because my SD card and every, it, I just, I, I, I was really like, oh, it just was such an inconvenience. And, um. So once I got back home later that evening, so 24 hours had passed, they finally called the driver. He answered and they gave he gave them permission to give me his number. So I called him. He said that he tried to call my sister friend over 20 times, but he wasn't able to get in contact, of course, because she blocked him. And um, so I asked him, like, I was like, well, where are you located? He said that he was in somewhere, Virginia. It was like a two-hour drive. So I asked him, could he ship it to me? And I just paid him back for it. He said, yeah, he would ship it. Now, y'all, that was a Monday. He said he would ship it the next day because Monday was a holiday. So when the next day came, I was trying to, I text him, he didn't reply. And I'm like, man, this man ain't gonna ship my stuff back. Then that same day, Tuesday, after I literally, y'all literally, I was in the store and I said, he not going to ship my stuff back. I'm just going to like count it as a loss. 
as soon as I had that thought in my head, not even 10 minutes later, he sent me a text and showed me a picture of the receipt of him shipping it off. And it was like $25. So I paid him for shipping it off and I gave him some extra money for shipping it off. And I was like, now all I got to do is wait for my purse to see if everything is in there. And y'all, it came with everything in there, even the cash. I was just so grateful because I'm like, even though I had already canceled all like my cards, I was like, man, like you, that's not, and not only that, y'all, he wasn't even in Virginia no more. He was in New York. So he shipped it from New York. So my purse literally went from being in DC area, Virginia in New York and not in my possession with cash and, and all my personal stuff. And it came back to me the same way. So I was so grateful for that because nowadays, you know what I'm saying? It, it just showed me that there still are people in this world that will do right by you. Um, and it's so crazy because it's the same friend that remember in the, in the vlog, I told y'all she realized her wallet was gone. It was her. That's the one that was trying to call him. I mean, he was trying to call her and she ended up blocking his number. So anyway... Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know what happened and why I did not end the vlog off because I would have ended it off better than that, y'all. But I'm telling y'all, when I, I was in tears, like crying, I was boo-hoo crying. I was on the phone with my mom, like, mom, I'm just so frustrated because it's like, why, like, Uber really need to do better with that. It's like, if I leave my personal item, you're telling me that you're not going to try to call this person until 24 hours have passed? Like, what the... Anyway, I even told him, I said, my ID is in my purse. I'm traveling back. I was saying that I need it to travel back. Because you know how sometimes, like, well, if you're flying back, you need your, um, you need your ID. I'm, but you can't, like, if, say, if you leave, if you lost your ID, you can't get back, though. Because I have, I lost my entire wallet one time. I was on the deck on, um, in New York. And, I think, like, my wallet had fell, like, in the subway or something. So, y'all. That's the second time I lost all my stuff when I was traveling. Huh. So, yeah. So, that's where I'm at. Oh, and another thing. This is what I also wanted to tell y'all. Y'all, when I got back from my trip, literally, I got back on a Monday. As of that Tuesday, I was sick as a dog. Sick as a... When I say I have never been that sick in my life. Y'all, I couldn't even get up out the bed. I literally lost five pounds from being sick. I couldn't get out the bed. I could not move. I barely could walk to the deck on bathroom. And then next thing you know, my boyfriend got sick. The, the twins got sick. My son got sick. Everybody, all of us got sick, honestly. But the, the kids didn't last as much. But me and him, it lasted longer. And with me, it lasted the longest. Y'all, I was so, I was, listen, I'm telling y'all, like, I'm not even exaggerating. That was the worst feeling in my life. Like, I was so, all of the symptoms I had was, like, a bad headache. My ears were hurting. I had a sore throat, and I kept coughing. My nose was running, so I felt stopped up, which I still do. And my entire body was, like, um, just, like, sore. Like, I couldn't get up. I could not get up at all so i just was really miserable and then on top of that after dealing with the twins and stuff like that uh, uh, still trying to deal with them while i'm sick then khalil woke up one morning yo, this all happened right after my trip like it was like well dang i went away to try to get a break and now i'm back and all of this is happening so i got sick i have not been to the gym in like three weeks because when I did try to go to the gym I could barely get through my workout because I was so like like out of breath because from being sick and just congestion and it just mm. but then I Khalil woke up one morning and y'all he had dig on sores all over his mouth so this is not the first time that has happened but before the doctor told me that it was from him drooling so much from him teething like the drool was just sitting on his mouth and making him break out so that's what I thought it was this time. However, when I was about to take him to daycare, I noticed his hands was all bumpy and stuff. And it wasn't like that when he woke up. So I don't know. It, it had to happen within a couple of uh, an hour. His hands was bumpy. And I was like, something not right. 
so I took him to the doctor that day and they told me he had a hand, feet, and mouth virus, which is something that kids can get and they get like bumps on their mouth, on their hands, and on their feet, which he had a little bit of bumps on his feet, but nothing like it was on his hands. And they said that he might not want to eat and he could have a fever with it. It's just been, y'all, I just been stressed. I just been stressed. So I'm glad to be feeling better. Father's Day is this weekend and... I don't know what it's going to consist of, y'all. I'm still trying to get my life right. It's like I be trying to upload content, and it's kind of hard right now to do it because I'm still trying to get back in the groove of just life. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you are the one that makes things go in the house, because honestly, at the end of the day, I'm the one that makes things operate because my boyfriend, he works. And I work too, but he worked to the point where he's not in the house. So it's like... When he's working, everything is on me. So it's just like, <laughs> when you the one that make everything go in the house as far as cooking and cleaning and taking care of the kids. And not saying he don't clean either. He just don't clean like me. But um, yeah, so it's just like, I'm just trying to get back my foot in because it's just, everything just been so disorganized. I haven't been cooking dinner. My kids been looking at me like I'm crazy because I haven't cooked dinner. This probably... I cook dinner Sunday, so this is the first time I cook dinner in like three weeks. So I'm still in the process of trying to get this house back in order, still in the process of trying to just get content out, and I still do work a regular job. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, whew. But anyway, y'all up on that. I'm about to drink my coffee and finish editing my video. But yeah, sorry for the video being so short, you guys. Um... That's just what we did. <laughs> we was, I tried my best to vlog. I'm trying not to take a week off, but I feel like I need one. But I don't know. We're going to see because after everything that's just been all out of order for the past couple of weeks, I just feel like I need to get everything back in order. But we'll see. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. I love y'all so much. I already broke two of, my, two of my nails. This one, I don't even know how this one broke. I don't know where is that, but it just broke. And then this one yesterday broke. My boyfriend broke it. Because he want to play all the day on time. So, yeah. So, I love y'all. I'm so sorry. Y'all see the little glare? I mean, the little streaks? I don't like that. But that's because the camera always dirty. <laughs> all right. I love y'all.